Good evening. I hope you're doing well today. It's January the 18th, 2023. It's a, it was a beautiful day here in Terrace, British Columbia. The morning was kind of wet, but the afternoon turned beautiful. It was sunny and warm. Considering it's the middle of January, that's a wonderful thing. What do I have here? Just thought I'd show you some of the work that I was doing. This is the city of Con Tum in Vietnam. And this will be one of the Tet scenarios. I'm just uh, giving it a script right now, working on each of the companies and how they're going to attack. I'm probably about 33%, yeah, maybe even, no, oh yeah, 33% done this. <coughs> this particular scenario. You can expect probably about 30 scenarios for this DLC. I still haven't decided on which which scenario I'm going to do for the a weekend. I'm kind of thinking about way, but I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see. It depends on how I can break that battle down into uh, something useful or something interesting. Or I could just try something completely different. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Maybe something from the VC perspective. I don't know. I don't know. There's so many options and the issue with doing that would be how I code the Arvin or Americans. That that would be a challenge. A huge challenge. Anyways, let's get on to our game. So what's going on? We are at turn 273. <laughs> which means that there are seven more turns of daylight in a week in Ben Long. We are... What does that mean? That means we have to start sending everyone to where they need to be for the night. And in most cases, that's going to be a firebase. Most of the firebases are, are complete now. Actually, we can call that one complete. Area of Iowa is not quite done. Hey, Bess, good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, let's zoom in here so you can see a little bit better. So this is area Iowa. I think it's mostly done. There's only a couple more points to uh, to secure, and then that's captured. Uh, the engineering task force still has two blocks to clear along this secondary road. That I don't know if we're going to have enough time to get the engineering task force there and back to, to Loch Ninn before dark. I don't think so. The main issue is going to be driving at night, and driving at night is always, I think it reduces, your movement factor for vehicles is reduced in half. It has no effect on helicopters flying in the low and high flight zone, but all vehicles are reduced in half. Hey, John, good to see you as well. I am doing really well, thank you for asking. So far, it's a good day. It was a very productive day at work today. I learned a lot. Uh, area South Carolina, they have started building the firebase, but I think there's still one more to finish that off. And area South Carolina is almost done. Uh, the fire base here is complete. We can knock that off. But we haven't quite finished clearing area Cali area Colorado. And area, area California. Uh, I, that is done. We have finished that. And I think we've also finished the fire base here. The troop, the second second is mostly at that fire base. I think there's just a couple of infantry that are need to be lifted back to where they need to go but otherwise I think it's pretty well pretty well done we have an engineering task force here at Chai Lin and we have this other engineering task force I think this one needs to go down to Con Than we'll have to I don't know where any of these engineering task force have to go so we'll have to figure that out I'm not sure uh, here we haven't even started this fire base but we do have a construction platoon and we're going to go grab the dozers that were down here because this fire base is complete and area new mexico is also done area new york is not quite done yet but it's pretty darn close to the west uh area main i think is now done and the fire base is also complete so we just are transporting troops back and forth we do have another Cavalry unit and engineer task force at Min Then, which is basically the only thing protecting it besides the headquarters. Something to be concerned about. And we have, lastly, the cavalry unit that is at the Area Washington Airfield and Firebase. Uh, 
they were supposed to be these were part of this group over here the first 16th but that was detached and now they're all just hanging out there hey red Sox cutie good to see you i hope you're doing well this here is red because there's mines on this road and we haven't cleared them yet i know that they're there we've run across them we've lost some units to them and yeah uh, we have our LRRP team hanging out in Cambodia. We are going to have to try and move him and see if those that NVA company is still on that trail. We're hoping that it they moved, but I have no idea. So we'll have to worry about that. Anyways, let's get into it and see what happens. We can save that. And bada boom. 273 already. Man, can you believe I've been playing this now for... 86 hours just this one scenario how crazy is that and i really appreciate you all tuning in and checking it out and seeing what kind of madness that i get into uh caveat this is the 1.30 beta there shouldn't be any problems but uh in case there is then you know it's the beta's fault <laughs> Uh, I did do some tweaking to this script as well, and I did some tweaking to the map. I did notice when I was panning around yesterday, or day before yesterday, that I had missed a couple of the uh, the rivers. So I was just did some cleanup, little things like that. Nothing too crazy in that sense. And the script, uh, it was just minor script issues. There was a suggestion by someone over at discord if you are not on our discord you should join it because we are interactive there having a chat with everyone yeah, it was grady he said uh, something about making sure that you didn't get penalized especially the first couple of days for sectors like this here where you accidentally run into uh you know uh, an objective that's just off the road i was pretty strict i guess in the first day two days actually in the first couple of days where i'm expecting you to stay on the road but with the blocks and things it is possible to make a misclick so i just added a couple of these that are you know just off the road so that you don't get penalized that thousand points so yeah that's one thing i did and i had to add this road here into the script so once i cleared it i should have got the 500 points we dealt with that last episode but that's all done now uh is my volume okay i'm hoping that it is i'm going to assume that it is sounds fine okay thank you thank you red sox cutie i appreciate that <coughs> thank you Bess. Volume is perfect. All right. Thank you, John. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to do a quick pan, see what's going on, see where I have my units. So we have some helicopters here. Uh, we do have units. So we're going to utilize these. Actually, let's just do that right now. That way I, I'm not going to forget. We'll just fly them all the way up to this landing zone. So this one here, we'll just walk across. It's going to take one, two, four five turns to get there but hopefully we'll get oh we have to send them all the way back here oh, decisions 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 so I'm not gonna hit I'm not gonna make it to certain areas for the loggering bonus unfortunately which means I'm gonna get penalized here let's take a look before we get started how our victory levels are so we're still at a minor victory and we're we're doing pretty good here to keep you have to keep this in mind though it looks like we're doing really good now because you know it's day five we're we're rocking it we're doing really good we've secured most of the areas we haven't well we've lost quite a bit way more than we should have but you know it's not the end of the world but if you're going to play this exactly red sox cutie there's more crap to come on day seven or even maybe starting the the night of day six as soon as that day starts there's going to be vc everywhere and they're going to occupy a whole bunch of things and the longer that they occupy that 
the more event points they're going to get. And they're going to get a lot of event points. And you're going to be really pissed because your 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 major victory that we should have when we come up to day seven is going to start dwindling and dwindling. And then you're going to be in a rush that whole entire day trying to capture things and fight the VC to bring you back up to a major victory. That's kind of what we're thinking here. How terrifying is that? Should be fun, though. Let's pan down. Make sure that we got everything. Yeah, they're all done. These units here. Let's just check this out. It will be scary, John. I'm glad you can't wait to see it, Red Sox cutie. Oh, yeah. It'll be some senseless violence indeed. That's assuming that I coded everything right. <laughs> if I didn't code it right, then, well, it could be fun. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see. We have helicopters here. They are loaded. We have some guys there. Engineers there. There is another engine. Oh, there they are. Okay. So we're just building some defenses there in case we have to spend the night. I don't know if we have to spend the night. I don't remember. I could check the briefing. Yeah, uh, you know what? Let's check the briefing. Uh, I don't know which engineering task force. I think that's B. B and D. They... And we'll log her at Lai Chin overnight. So, yeah. So, this group here, as much as I thought, we have to... Oh, no. You know what that means. That means... Let's highlight that organization. So far, your coding is pretty damn good. I'm glad you think so, John. I really am. That means all these vehicles here need to get the pedal to the metal... And they have to go all the way to Chai Lin. Otherwise, I'm not going to get my points. So this one probably won't make it. These ones here, they they might. Ah, here I need to figure out. These need to come. These need to come. Let's zoom in here. I want to make sure that I'm grabbing the right things. Uh, what's that? So that needs to come. That needs to come. These need to come. So all these units, we need to send north, and, or sorry, northeast to Chai Lin. Oh. So let's move some of these. Uh. No, this can stay here, I think. So that's our AVLB. Oh, I was going to do a test for... Who was that for? Um, anyways, let's bring this guy out. And we're going to bring it over to here. Even though it's on low on ammo status, I want to see if I can lay another bridge. And there's, why not build a bridge there? there? That's a deep bridge, so yeah, let's do that. Meanwhile, all these units are going to head north. Ah, we have ACAV here with a reconnaissance unit. Oh, we ran out of movement points. That, John, will be very important for Middle East. And Cold War. And East Front. Oh, I wish I could show you the stuff that I've been working on for Cold War. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's oh darn it! I didn't mean to move that. I wanted to lay some more claymores there. Silly me, silly. Oh, we have a battery here. What? There's a 155 sitting there. Crap! I didn't see that before. Anyways, so all these ACAV units they need to move all the way down this road before nightfall. Fortunately, we did clear that. Uh, who do you belong to? Oh, that's this company here. So these two engineering task forces are going to be passing each other in the day or near the night. Can we get there in time? I don't know. But we're going to try our darndest. That's for sure. Uh, let's see. Do we have any helicopters up here? We don't. Where is our helicopter? Let's zoom in. Oh, 
oh it's down here right so this one here we're just we picked up this infantry platoon we're going to take him back up to this fire base and then we're going to go and grab this platoon and then that this battalion should be where it's supposed to be for the night which is great hallelujah okay let's take a look over at min than now we did have this platoon needs to be yeah check helo gas this one is good to go these ones don't have enough fuel to do anything all these units they're all good so we did do some movement last turn which is good I'm just gonna pan over here make sure that everything ah uh, and this I checked my file and this actually get did trigger there was a supply unit that had to go up here and I don't recall seeing the message for that but according to my file it did actually happen so we have enough time well I don't know if we have enough time now to get back but we're gonna try because that's one two three four five six and then we have to drive on the road at half half the speed all the way back here yeah is that gonna work out for us I doubt it but we're gonna try heck yeah they're digging in these guys have landed let's help out our troops spread out protect our line protect our headquarters protect our gun and let's go over to the VC sector oh yeah they're heading back oh what about our Arvin ACAV unit where is it now we have freedom of movement with this ACAV unit if I can find it there it is oh yeah we did move it okay what do we have we have uh, a platoon well ha not the greatest strength it's they're 66 percent strong two mortars and we have another platoon that's only just shy of one strength point so we're doing okay and the Arvin let's check them out I think we're pretty well good here but there's just a couple platoons left or a platoon left yeah, just one, just this machine gun. And they've landed. Okay, you know what? Let's save it and end it. Let's see what happens. Note the uh, new unit list over here. Chris was Chris and Berto had been working on this for the last couple weeks, making it look a lot nicer, easier to read. Very happy about that. All right, five air strikes remaining, six units low on ammo. We have one helicopter that's low on fuel, and we built a whole bunch of improved positions. And we don't see the VC. Ah, we don't see the VC because the VC, it's nighttime. So, and the visibility is dropping. Visibility is only five now, so it'll be much harder to see things. Let's get the this infantry company down here where they're going to be useful uh, let's see we have a machine gun Jeep there let's get them coming our supplies they can come back ever so slowly now, at least this engineer will be able to clear this block for this supplies they're heading back to the base uh, here we can drop down load up load up and take off and fly towards the firebase. There was, I thought, somewhere. What's here? We can double time and get to that point. Let's do that. There we go. So I think actually that is the last point. Yeah, we did. We've got we've now secured area Iowa. It's all done. Now we just have to consolidate our troops. Oh, there's another infantry there. He can load up. Oh, no, he can't because that helicopter's still in the sky. Ah, look at that. We're down to two. We need to uh, get up in the sky and start flying over here. Oh, we can't. <gasps> oh, this is going to... This is going to be terrible. Ah, uh, geez, watching this, I feel like Robert McNamara flying around Vietnam in a Huey. You're doing good, Jason. Thanks, Thanks, John. I really appreciate that. This might be tricky. We have only one turn left with this Huey, and I don't have enough to take off, so we'll have to see what happens. 
All we have to do is get to here. We... Oh, man. That'll be... That'll be a tough one. All right. Let's see. What do we have? These guys are digging... Oh, they're not even digging in. What the heck? Uh, let's go down here. They're digging in. This guy's going to dig in over here. There we go. That's second 28. They're pretty much done now. We're happy with them. Let's check out our... Oh, they took that... Oh, we still haven't gone there yet. That's why. This recon platoon. So we're going to lose points for that unit. Definitely. Unfortunately. Here, these guys can land. We can move these guys down to the trail. Get to the crossing. And we have to get to that helicopter as soon as we possibly can. What's this? They've finished. Perfect. Wow, all these units. All these units are digging in, but they're not really doing a very good job. Here we have helicopters. And I think that's the last point for that sector as well. Oh, perfect. Okay, Arvin. We need to race towards that. Need to race towards there. So we'll send one of our helicopters over there straight away. Drop it down, and then this last helicopter will bring down to the airfield. Get it refueled. It doesn't need to be refueled, but at least I know where it is. So we won't have to worry about that. So that's four ninths. They're, they're done. They're done for today's tasks. Let's see. Let's go down. We have our vehicles back where they need to be. That's good. Oh, there was some ACAV units. We don't know where they need to be. I think they need to be south. I think these are A squadron or A troop. Yes. So they need to be as far south as we can go. Because the rest of a troop is down here. Slowly but surely trying to clear this road. Acabs, leave them there. Oh, we can't move anymore. We'll move these units off the beaten track so our other units down here, other cavalry units that need to race north, east, can do that freely. Oh, that's a good movement. This we'll put back. Alright, uh, this needs to go north as well. Do these need to go north? Yes. I think that's all the same company. Yeah, it's all the same. Same cavalry troop. There's 
one more way back here. This one is going to cause the problems. Of course. Crappers. Uh, helicopters. We can unload these. Drop down, unload. These can unload. Where's our construction platoon? Oh, there it is. But the problem with that is that I can't unload. Oh, I can. Oh, perfect. So this other helicopter, the Chinook. Oh, we have to leave them there. But, uh, okay, we have to wait for the Chinooks. I could fly Huey over here to pick up the dozers, but that's not realistic, so I'm not going to do that. Not until we have the, the helicopter issue sorted out. But I will take one of those helicopters, take off, and go down here to grab that unit. Let's move our bridge over to the, to the river. Our heavy weapons company with infantry are heading back to area Texas. Or not. Oh, I hate that. I really hate that. Uh, they need a helicopter. Let's go up to Min Than. Uh, did we have any helicopters here? Let's take a look. We don't, but we will very shortly. Because I'm remembering we need to move this down here. We can land them next turn. Uh, these two helicopters can load up. They're refueled. And they will be able to transport infantry over there. We do have two platoons over here that need to come over. I'm just going to highlight this task force headquarters to make sure that nothing is where it shouldn't be. So that's the brigade headquarters. That's a task force headquarters, so that's correct. Oh, you know what? Let's take a look at the briefing again one more time. I'm looking to see where that task force headquarters should be. And I don't remember if it needs to be at Min Than for the night or is there fine. Crap. Third Brigade missions, First Brigade missions. Yeah, it doesn't mention the task force headquarters. Hmm. Well, let's just wing it, see what happens. Uh, this infantry can come back. These trucks can go. This infantry can come over here. Let's just highlight that headquarter again. We do have a bunch of stuff here. Let's see. Any infantry? Oh, these mortars need to go. I think, wait. Do they need to go? Yeah, they do. They're C Company. Are there other mortars? D Company. No, so that can stay. B company, so these need to, to fly. A 
A company. Oh man, all these mortars need to go. I forgot to, to send them. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. That's okay. We'll have some helicopters here, no problem. Okay, so that's done. Our cavalry unit, our Arvin cavalry unit, can head north. Thanks for tuning in, John. Hope you have a great night. I really appreciate your support. Thank you. Yeah, operations for today are definitely winding down, which is fantastic. Makes our life easier. Oh, we still have these to take care of. Let's double time this guy down here. Oh no! What is this? Freaking BC! Well, let's get the heck out of Dodge. Okay, do we have a battery here? Yes, let's hit that. That's not good. Uh, we can take off these helicopters, bring them down here. And we can send them over to this side over here. Let's dig in. Dig in. They've dug in, they're good. Let's just highlight this task force headquarters. Let's make sure that there's no units that aren't where they shouldn't be, and I think we're okay. Because these two battalions were we're mixed together, but I think we sorted out where they need to be now, so that's good. Alright, let's turn that off. Oh, who do you belong to? First sixteenth? Are you first sixteenth? Yeah, so they need to come all the way down here. How are they going to do that? They are going to uh, go to there. Let's double time them. Get on this road, head up to there, and we can fly them back. Hopefully by the end of the day. Uh, here, we're waiting for them. This infantry still can't do anything. Let's just pan up north here, make sure that this sector is all done. Yes. All right. Yay for a fast turn. Let's end it. Notice how fast that turn was, considering how many units there are. That's crazy. Uh, night will be arriving in the next handful of turns. You should have your forces on the way or at the Bivac areas for the night. Loggers and Clues. Second 28th at Area Iowa. Yes, at the LZ. At the Firebase. Uh, first 16th at Area Western Colorado at LZ Colorado 3. I think that's right. Second 2nd should be at Area California at California 5. First, second should be area Texas. Yeah, it's still there. First, 26th should be at area Maine. It's getting there. First, 28th is at area New Mexico Firebase. Yes. The D second 28th should be at the Loch Ninn base area. No, not yet, but it will be. A Cavalry and the Engineering Task Force will go to Conthan. Okay, good to know. Uh, C and C should be at Min Than, which they are. B and D should be at the Chai Lin base area, which they will be. And the Arvin Task Force, the 37 
uh, yeah, Area Washington Fire Base at Tong John, which is good. 3 9th should be at Area of New York, which they almost are. And 4 9th should be at South Carolina, the fire base there. So that's good. We're, we have everyone pretty much where they need to be. Uh, for keeping your non-mobile supply within 2 kilometers of your 1st Grade Headquarters, you continue to gain additional supply. Perfect. And same for the 3rd Brigade. For continuing to hold the locked-in area, we gain 100 points. Uh, for continuing to hold the unlock area, the Contan area, the Lai K area, Fokvin area, we uh, oh, and we cleared LTL 13 between Contan and Chai Lin of any blocks and minefields. Perfect. We have been awarded 500 points, and we've cleared uh, Route 346 from 245 to LTL 13 of any blocks and mines. So we gain another 500 points. So yeah, we're just rocking in some points. Five airstrikes remaining, six units low on ammo. Two aircraft need to refuel. And three improved positions. Oh, you know what? There should be another one there. Oh, it's on the ground. That's why. Aha! And then three improved positions were built. That's a bunker. Buggers. Okay, let's, uh, we're taking the scenic route down. And this guy, we're just going to send him back to grab that point. And we should be able to have this area secure by the end of the day. But, who knows. Uh, no, they have to come here. I almost sent them to the wrong battalion headquarters. <laughs> That's not good. That's what happens when you get things done in a rush. You start making little mistakes. Don't make mistakes. You can't afford them in this game. So he's refueled. This infantry. All we can do is move down the tree line. Oh. That's going to be crappy. Same with these guys. All we can do is move down the trail. These ones can cross. Head towards this helicopter. Let's take a look at the base here. Uh, we don't need these helicopters in the field anymore. Let's pull them out. Send them back to Fuok Vin, this airfield. And here... Let's dig in with our construction platoon, Wyatt, as well. These guys are still digging in. Well, let's get this guy digging in, Wyatt, as well. And this stuff, let's come down this side. And also start help digging in. You can start running back. Okay, that's that. Let's go up to 2nd 28th. Uh, let's deal with this Arvin troop first. This Arvin cavalry unit is very slow. Hopefully we can clear this block. That will allow our supply units. Oh, freaking. Or not. We're just bringing and consolidating event. We, we can move this one through the night. We don't care about this one. But we are going to bring it down to uh, maybe this town here. Just to be closer to Loch Ninn. As, as the days are, as the week is getting close to the end, we want to uh, make sure we have our troops where they need to be. These helicopters, we can drop down, unload. And I think there was one more. Yep, there is. We can take off. Can we get there and land? I hope so. 
Yes. So we get there with one fuel turn left. Perfect. And I don't think we can unload. No, we can't. This infantry platoon can double time and come back. That should be able to make it. There's a nice, beautiful road there. That's only a couple turns away, so that's good. What's not going to make it? Uh, our engineering unit is not going to make it, and our supply units are not going to make it back, unfortunately. Although, I could send the trucks back, advance down the road up to there with the double-timing that engineer, and then just fly back. Then I don't have to worry about driving back. The, you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Is it ideal? No. But that is a better chance of being successful than trying to drive all the way up there and then all the way back because that road is terrible. But if I'm walking, it's much more likelihood to succeed. Here we have out of ammo, so we can't do anything useful with that. Let's go check out our LRRP team and see if we can get him back over here and see if those units have moved or not. We're hoping that they have. Let's double time this guy down the trail. Oh, that was a good big move. So if we can do that again, we should be able to take that out. Ah, let's see. So far, so good. So far, so good. Our Arvin unit here. I think that's a decent enough position. Maybe let's just put... No, that's protecting that bridge. This infantry is over here protecting this side. All the other units are in here. I think that's fine. And we can pull the... Oh, I forgot to do that. I forgot to change that. So this is a armored car. It has a machine gun, but it should have a more powerful machine gun than it currently does. Notice that this road is still mined. We did run into some VC mines. We spotted them. We marked them, but we just haven't had a chance to clear them yet. Same as up here. We know that they're there. We just haven't been able to clear them yet. Which is a pain, but it is what it is. Further south, let's transport our troops over to Area Main. And move our supply trucks closer to the road. Get these guys back. There we go. And let's move our mortars onto the airfield. Those are A. Let's double time them. Go as far as we can this way. And I think these ones here also need to go. Yes, those are B. Let's double time them again. Also get as close as we can to that airfield. Engineers, engineers, reconnaissance. These are all the armored cavalry troop vehicles. I'm not sure what that's for. What's that for? These are ah, supply escorts. So let's put them over here, keep them all together. Since this is no longer a fire base, this is a main base. The extent to where I have to keep units within has been increased, which is good. We're going to clear out that minefield. Um, I think it's up to, it's either six or eight hexes now. So I'm not worried if my units are still dispersed a little bit. That's okay. What is that? Headquarters of the first second. Oh yeah. Okay, they are done. 
We have a helicopter down here that needs to land. And our missing platoon is here. Yay! Let's just organize our units here a little bit better. That's a reconnaissance unit. Infantry. Just going to organize these troops. One second. So one company there. units. Just seen it for any loaded trucks. I know I have another platoon here somewhere. Heavy machine guns. <laughs> Empty trucks. Supply trucks. Empty trucks. Corliss rifles. More machine guns. So, one neat trick that we can do is I'm going to look highlight first second and we're going to go to the find organization look for first second. I think it's a first brigade unit. Yeah, there it is. And we can quickly tell where everyone is based on the coordinates. So, we are curious about our infantry platoons mostly and There are two that seem to have weird coordinates. This one. Oh yeah. Huh. We need to go. That's where they are. I knew I had more units. Aha. Let's see. Is this helicopter? It's reef. Uh, is now nah, it's good enough. We have enough to go over here. have enough to get there and land and come back okay lesson learned check the coordinates because that was pretty useful the Chinooks on the other hand we can get them up in the sky get them over here there was a helicopter heading south down to here we can drop it down and we can pick up that machine gun, which is the last Arvin unit on this side. Uh, otherwise, we have a helicopter that's full. Let's take off. Put it up into the high flight zone. And let's get it all the way across over here. See how far it'll go. We're trying to get that as far over here as we can because then we can grab this other platoon. Get this unit all complete. This unit is, is all complete. We do have this ACAV unit that needs to move. Q 
here, this unit. We're going to bring it up to uh, up to this river. We're just going to place a bridge here next turn just to see if it works. All these units need to move up the road. They have to go to that far airfield on the border of our territory. Ah, there's a awkward crossing there, unfortunately. So we're gonna, there's a roadblock. units. Not that one, but these ones. That has cleared, finally. So this unit needs to go to Khan Than. Oh man, these this ACAV unit is in the middle of nowhere. This unit needs to go back to that landing zone. Our cavalry unit can head north. Now this is an ACAV unit, so we should be able to swim across that creek even though that bridge is down. And we can, perfect. So we're holding on to this bridge mainly for our, our tanks and other wheeled vehicles. Our APCs, because they can ford, uh, we can just cross there like normal. Yay for APCs. And that's why we're protecting them. And that's why we have these uh, this gun, these gunships up here to help out in case we need them. Uh, this ACAB unit, we're continuing south, because it has to go to Khan Than. And again, they're ACAVs, so they can cross that broken bridge. Perfect. And up here, we have to move our units. Oh, we did. Uh, let's check this out. They're digging in. They have dug in. Oh, we can build some trenches there. Let's do that. And let's split up these infantry on this trail. Disperse our other infantry. Uh, leave those machine guns. Leave that there. So we have a Mike company with our battalion. There are a few platoons still out in the field. Unfortunately. Alright, and I don't think there was anything else that we need to do. That's done, that's done. Let's go double check. Four ninths. They are done. Second twenty eighth. Uh, oh, these guys can dig in. These guys. Let's dig in there. Have these construction platoons join them, and we'll build some trenches there. We'll come across over here, build some trenches here. These guys are just digging in. So this is going to be a fairly good area. Well protected. I'm not really concerned about that firebase. We should be okay. So let's, let's end the turn. See what happens. Ooh, we're burning through the turns tonight. All right.
So they did move. Okay, here's a visual reminder of the 2nd 28th Infantry Loggers location and what that is. So the headquarters is at Loch Ninn. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, although we do have a, a machine gun that isn't there yet. And the task force needs to be at Kentucky. Yep. First 16th is loggering, or the headquarters is that, and lock, which it is. And the task force headquarters is out here in the middle of nowhere. As discussed, it's... Oh, you haven't seen that, Red Sox cutie. Yeah, so these are, right now, they're only in this particular... They're in this scenario, plus they're in Mekong. Um, but, yeah, this is a dialogue message, which will allow me to visually show what all those big blocks of text are trying to do the same thing right so this is a quick and dirty way you have to be able to understand what i'm putting here but generally it's, it's straightforward it tells you the exact location it tells you what units are there you just have to be able to know what these mean so in this sense uh mike company this is a, a an infantry sign and one dash means it's a company this is another infantry sign but the two dashes means it's a battalion, so it has a whole bunch, like three companies underneath it. So this task force needs to be here with that particular uh, attached mic company, and it's yellow because it's an Arvin unit. Just so you can distinguish, once the green is American, the yellow is Arvin, and they both need to be in here. Uh, in this case, we have the headquarters down at Con Than, and the rest of the battalion up at the LZ California 5. Uh, here we have the second two headquarters at Min Than, which I don't think I've done. I have to move all them. Crap. And then the task force is at second second. So that's one thing we have to do. I'm going to write that down. Man, I don't think we're going to get there in time. Which I'm, I'm thinking that the task force brigade headquarters needs to be up at Minthan too so i'm gonna move that at the same time crap here i thought i was doing so good second seven hq at Minthan. i'm just writing that down so i remember shoot uh the headquarters of the first 26th is also at Minthan, and the first 26th is over at lz main which it is uh, the entire first 28th is loggering on the side of the road here, so that's understandable. We just cleared all that area. 4 9th is at uh, LZ South Carolina 2. 3 9th is up at the LZ New York 2. And that's that. Excellent, we've cleared. Oh, so this is a problem. I forgot to put a display once. So that shouldn't be happening over and over again. I made a mistake in the code. Five airstrikes remaining, one headquarters, unoverrun supply, six units low on ammo. I better write that down. Uh, check message for new road message. At Chai Lin. Darn it. Five airstrikes remaining, one headquarter, underprovide supply, six units low on ammo. I'm surprised we have so many units low on ammo considering we have really good ammo levels. Uh, two units are low on fuel. Oh, I forgot to check those. Two units are low on fuel, and we did build two construction platoons. So 9472. Let's Alt X. 9472. Oh, they're there. They just need to land. Oh, and they can't land there. Now they can't. There we go. So they're on the ground. We dealt with that. Now, let's... We have a big task to do. We have... I mean, it's not that far, but... It's a pain. So this... Needs to... Find a vehicle to move in the headquarter this task force headquarters we need to get them loaded and up here these mortars 
B company. We need to leave them. So that's staying. These units are D company, so they are leaving. Let's unload. Do we have enough Jeeps here? We do, so we can actually take them. This infantry can stay. These mortars can stay. These recon units have to go. This headquarter or the leader needs to go. That can stay. This leader we need to go. So let's get him and some jeeps, put him up here. These recordless rifles. That's the headquarters. And that actually means our supply trucks need to go up there too. headquarters so it's just this task force headquarters that's staying here that's a heavy weapons let's load them up Escorts for the supply trucks. Of course, I built a trench right in the middle of the road. Silly me. Oh, wait. I need the passenger. Nope. Yeah, that goes up here, too. company that also goes up here. So that's all together. That's all together. These are heavy weapons. They need to load up in something. What a pain. But that's part of making sure you're doing everything right. So all these units need to drive up to Min Than. Uh, three, six, that's less than 12. That's perfect. We're trying to move all, this, all these units as far as they can go because there's only four turns left and half movement, that's not very good. So I will split up this unit to get it moving as far as I can. I mean, fortunately, it's not that far. It's just, it, it's well within four turns to get there, right? It's just there's one little area that's an issue, but the rest of it should be fine. And it's just the task force that's supposed to be remaining at this area, which which means first headquarter the task force headquarters for the brigade 
also needs to go, but I think that's on the road already. Oh, we have helicopters. Where are they going? Over here. Drop down. We have an, uh, not enough to pick up. Oh, that's okay. This helicopter is going to do the same. Just want to say thank you again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Thank you for taking time out of your busy days to watch me make mistakes. Hopefully to better teach you how to play. So we are getting our mortars onto this airfield. These trucks we can just move off. We don't care about that. Same with these trucks. Those engineers, we can clear that. And we had some helicopters over here to land. Drop down, unload, take off again. And these infantry can disperse with their proper companies. Let's uh, let's put them all together where they're supposed to be too. That way, it keeps things better. So that company is dispersed. So we'll send this guy here. We'll send this. Oh no! I clicked the wrong thing. Forgot to deselect. Silly me. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but still. Send these two helicopters over here. We have uh, three trips to make still because we do have some mortars that need to move. Our reconnaissance still does not have any action points. Or, oh, we can try to set this bridge. Let's see. Uh, we're going to try and lay a bridge to that village. So let's units lay vehicle hexide bridge to the north did it work it did not work so let's try again it's expended the action point so that's a good thing uh, this APC we need to head north All these units. Let's zoom in here. All the remnants of that cavalry troop that I left behind. Here is the bottleneck, right there. Because, if you look carefully, there's a bridge here, but there's no road. So it's 65 action points to cross that bridge, no matter what. All because the VC blew the main bridge there, and we had to build a new one. And there was no spot where we could do it effectively. But let's bunch up as many vehicles as we can here. And then here. So I have to be very careful next turn to make sure that I'm moving the right units. Oh, it's going to be a close call to see if uh, this cavalry unit gets to Kontan before the end of the day. The other one I'm not too worried about because it's only a couple turns away now. Well, three turns away, we'll say. 
before it gets to this location here. Oh, we have this infantry that needs to move. Good thing I remember that. Drop down. We don't have enough to unload, but at least he's there. Uh, here we can drop down as well and unload. Let's uh, do the same thing and disperse our infantry so that they are together. We can't move that. We actually have to leave the mortars there because they need open terrain to fire. Uh, that is good together. This is... Actually, let's move this mortar here. Let's move this mortar here. That way they're all together. That way this company is mostly all together. And we are missing one, two platoons. Where are the platoons? There's one there. And I think the other one's in the helicopter. So we're, we're good. We're good there anyways. Here, on the other hand, we're not good. That's double time there. Let's get this guy going through the woods up to that point. And then lastly, there's another guy up here that needs to run towards this landing zone. Oh, because it's uphill, it's taking extra long. But that gives us time to grab a helicopter, which I think we have... Oh no, I lied. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I guess we're going to have to use one of these helicopters up here. Uh, let's see. That has six lights left. Uh, let's take off, come back up here, refuel, and then we'll go grab that guy out in the out in the in the weeds. All right, let's go north. We have a couple spare helicopters here that are on the ground. This infantry needs to run through the woods. Ah, those buggers, they took that back. Freaking heck. Crap. And of course, it's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, what am I going to do? Well, let's send uh, let's send an Arvin platoon down there. Let's double time him. The construction platoon did a job. Perfect. Oh, they're still digging. Oh, we're missing half of our infantry. That's not good. That's a pink team protecting our bridge. Let's go way up. We can send our engineering truck back because we have a different plan for it. Let's go take a look at what we're going to do with that engineer. Where is it? Right here. Oh no, that's our infantry. Oh, they're so slow. There's our engineer. So our engineer did clear that block, which is good. So let's double time him down this road. Get our supply trucks on the road. Head back towards Loch Ninn. Here we have a construction platoon. We're going to start digging in another trench. Hopefully we can get that done. And here... 
our Arvin Infantry Company, Regional Force, which is pretty crappy. They are heading back towards Loch Ninn before things get hairy. Oh, we have a platoon way out here. Get them on that road. Here we can unload these guys. We have a couple helicopters there. That's. Uh, do we leave them out in the field? I don't think that's a good idea. So let's take off and head back down towards Loch Ninn. I think that's all that we need to do. Are they digging in? They're digging in. These are all digging in. That platoon is moved. So that's second 28th done. Let's do a quick scan, make sure that they're all done. They're done. They're done. This is done. We have to, that is something we have to worry about. Oh, I knew I forgot something. Crap. Well, it's a good thing that's a nice clear road. What's this? That's a cavalry unit that we don't have access to. What's this? Oh, we have a platoon here we need to pick up and take off and fly towards the base. Which reminds me, we'll have to grab that dozer because we really need to build a fire base here. Where are the dozers? There's our schnooks. We're going to fly over to the dozers. Can we land? We can land. Boom, boom. We can't take off because we have to load them. On the bright side, these only cost 50 to move or to load because they can drive on. But we're slinging them up, but don't tell anyone. And here we have extra helicopters. We have a battery. Where's the construction? There it is. Perfect. Let's get this construction platoon starting to do its job. Maybe it'll finish building one by the time that dozer comes, and then we can have two of them operating at the same time. Love that sound. I know, right? It's awesome. Okay, I think we're done. Let's end the turn. You know what? The way things are going, we might even get a few of the night turns done. Because there's only... There's, there's, there'll be three more turns left of night. Or daytime. Oh, I forgot to move these guys. Crap. Uh, for clearing and maintaining area California. Yay, we gained 2,000 points. And yeah, I made a mistake there. So, you, if they double counted those points, then... Uh, I don't think they did, but we'll double check. Five airstrikes remaining, two headquarters, unable to provide supply, four units low on ammo, and we built a whole bunch of stuff. That's awesome. Uh, you know what? I think they actually built that. What? They did. That's amazing. So let's build another one next turn. But just in case, we're going to grab these dozers, load them up, take off, start flying. Heck yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, these helicopters can come up here. Touch down. Unload. There we go. We have this entire Arvin unit where it's supposed to be. I'm not sure what we're going to have to do next turn, though, and where they're supposed to go. Because... There's no freaking roads up there. Are there any roads anywhere? Well, there's a... Yeah. There's kind of a road. Kind of a road through here. 
all the way. Yeah. So I guess we're going to have to come up here somewhere. Maybe up to there. Oh, that'll be curious. I'll be curious to see what tomorrow's mission is going to bring. Besides more headaches. <laughs> okay. Over here. Can our special forces lay something? Okay, let's try to lay some claymores. Oh. Uh, no, didn't get lucky. Since we're here, let's check the bridge. Let's try. Units, build a vehicle, X side bridge, up. Uh, nope, didn't get lucky. I'm curious to see if that's going to work or not. Alright, now this is going to be the fun part. Now, some of these units are mixed in with the other ones. Let's highlight the organization. are pretty small. I'm doing this one at a time just to be safe. Do I have enough to cross? Oh, I do! And then these units can come up here. Hello? This unit can come down. These can go by. So yeah, it's not far. That's probably a turn away-ish. These ones are still a couple turns away, so it'll be... It's close. It's really close. Okay. What do we have here? They built something, so let's move this engineer over here. We'll build uh, an improved position where that tank is. here they can unload and then we need to get that helicopter off the ground again and over here it's not going to move very far unfortunately but that new platoon belongs to this side so that company is complete This company is missing a platoon. This company is complete. And that missing platoon for this is over here. So we ha we're sending a helicopter there to go grab it. Perfect. To the north. That's a good thing. Oh, roadblocks everywhere. Um, this unit will have to run to that landing zone, and this unit is going to have to try and run 
to this landing zone because there's no other way that they're going to uh, to make it otherwise. Uh, we need to refuel. Let's do that. Drop down. Refuel. And let's disperse our company just so we can again keep track of of who's who. Um, that is scary because it's not highlighting anyone. D company because it's the wrong spot. Oh. That's not good. It should be up here. Okay, so you know what that means. We need to move that into a landing zone and we need to come up here and steal a helicopter. So let's double check that again because that is not a good sign. That is not a good sign. So that's that the unit that we moved. That's not part of anything. Uh, this is part of that. Let's move this guy towards here. So they're missing a platoon. This is not missing a platoon, which is good. One, two, three, plus the mortars. That's encouraging. Our mic force there covering the north. There's, so we're missing a couple of platoons, and I think there's three out in the field, so yeah, that's okay. Man. Management. What's this? Oh, that's a helicopter coming down to land and get fueled up. So that's done. That was an Arvin helping. Ah, oh, the Arvin. So the VC took back a point. And we're going to go down and try and take it back. This unit. Oh, we can double time again. Perfect. It's still so far away to get to that helicopter. It's This is a tough area to clear. And it's a small area, which is crazy. But it's made even worse because the VC took that back. And now I'm not going to get the points for that. The buggers. Let's double time them across the trees. Avoid that whole block. And that'll get us towards this helicopter here pretty quick. How frustrating. So close yet so far. Uh, there was a platoon somewhere down south. Where is it? Here it is. Let's double time this guy. There we go. We finally resecured that area, even though that's that took such a long time. Our LRRP team is still hanging out in the in the woods. This infantry platoon is not recovered yet, so we can't do anything with them. Uh, we have some vehicles that can come back in daytime. Yay! We can leave them there. That's close enough. And we have the supply or the uh, supply trucks need to move, but also these engineering trucks. Uh, 
uh, here we have our regional force slowly making their way back towards Loch Ninn. Get our supply trucks moving. And our engineers. These helicopters, not sure why they were heading back. Oh, we were just going to take them down to Loch Ninn to remove one of them. Sorry, I'm sure you mentioned this before, but I can't recall. This is the 1.30 version you're using, and when is that supposed to be available to update? Uh, yeah, this is the 1.30 beta. And it will probably be available at the end of February. Why is it taking so long? Because we're trying to implement a new feature that uh, will help with play by email. And that is taking a bit longer than we anticipated. But yeah, and not only that, we will be releasing uh, the campaign series Middle East 2.30 update around the same time. And we're trying to we're going to try and keep the updates more consistent for for each of the games so that when one gets updated then they all get updated yeah i have mentioned that before for the play by email and yeah, that should be a, a huge help for for new players for example so yeah that's exciting i'm excited that should save you having to go in and save files back and forth all the time in theory we're hoping anyways uh, that did a good job. Let's move a platoon over here. Let's again organize our companies a little bit better. We must have lost one of our platoons. Oh no, there he is. Thank you for the question, Red Sox Cutie. I appreciate that. That's a good question. Okay, that's pretty much done. Let's turn that off. Now, we have that big task down here to deal with. All these units need to go to Minthan. And hopefully not get ambushed on the way. So all these vehicles are the supply, uh, the heavy weapons company, and the units that are attached at the higher battalion level. And it's just the task force units that are supposed to be out in the field, which means the line companies, their mortars, uh, artillery battery, and the task force headquarters. So these vehicles are part of the battalion. They need to come out of there. These units need to go. So notice Rachel or Red Sox Cutie. You'll see that um, these have been modified, they're changed now, but this will be much easier to read that uh, the defense, for example, is this, this halo around the two makes it so much easier to read. The buttons are different, there's more area, 
It just looks cleaner now, I think. They did a good job with that. These are part of the supply units. And I don't... Do I have... Oh yeah, I have these here. I think they look good. I mean, I'm still getting used to some of the new symbology here, but for the most part it's pretty intuitive, which is good. I will have to update the manual though, unfortunately. Oh. Okay. Now let's organize our troops again. So that is a complete company. That's good. This is also a complete company. That's also good. So let's disperse them. We don't need to keep them all together. Uh, these... This task force headquarters can move up to landing zone in case we need a helicopter. This is the artillery battery. Uh, these guys can move back. This guy can dig in. And we have our two other platoons over here. Load. Take off. Uh, load. Take off. This one can move further. Because it didn't have to land. I think that is the last two platoons. Let's just zoom in here. We're missing... That's a company. That's a company. And this company here is missing some units. That's all we're missing. We'll put the vehicles out of the way. Let's move this infantry over here. Move this mortar here, and then those other two platoons can come into here, and that's that. So that that battalion is where it's supposed to be, or at least the one in the field. This one, on the other hand, is not quite done. Let's split this up, drop down, get these helicopters dropped down. These mortars can go in. Not enough to load, not enough to load. But that's okay. These trucks, they're still driving through the woods. At least, so one, two more turns. Yeah, they'll be driving at night. But I should get back and, and at least be close enough to not have to, to worry about... Uh, to worry about not getting the points for them being somewhere else. Uh, you know me, it takes me ages to recognize the new stuff, but looking forward to it anyways. Oh, I, I don't know if you saw this yet, but this is, this is new here. This is slow time. So what does slow time do? If I grab, it, it works for vehicles or uh, infantry. If I use slow time, so right now you'll see I have these Jeeps with machine guns highlighted. If I click this button here for slow time, which is conveniently under the double time, so we did do some changes to this. If you click on that, you'll see that there's a new icon here. It means that, hey, you're, you're now in, in slow time mode. What it does is it will... Imagine yourself driving down the road at half the speed as you normally would be, and you're keeping an eye out for for mines and you're looking for roadblocks and you're looking for IEDs and things like that. So you're less likely to be blown up by them, but the cost of that is that you're moving way, way slower. Way, way slower. So if we, as comparison, these other, these are both Jeep units and I'm not going to, to slow time this. I'll just move it in the same hex. And you'll see that this one here only burned nine or sorry, 10 action points, whereas this one here burned 16 to do the same thing. So if we'll continue down the road using slow time, 
this has burned an another, you know, exponential down, and then here we have less. Yeah, so it's it's way better. It helps you in these type of scenarios if you want to take your infantry platoon and walk down a trail that you've never been down before and be more cautious. So, for example, in the Mekong scenario where I was, I lost probably 30% of my troops to mines and IEDs as opposed to combat. Now that I have slow time, it would help in theory to reduce that. Not necessarily all of it, but it should reduce it fairly significantly. So maybe I lose 15% or 10% to IEDs or something like that, right? So this is a really cool new feature. I like that. It doesn't work for helicopters, I don't think. Two silly questions. It functions the same as double time that you can't undo once clicked or double clicking does not do good things. Is there a downside to using it? The only downside is that it's burning way more action points. It's costing you to do the same thing as you normally would walking. You're doing it at half the, half the speed or three quarters of the speed or something like that. So... And if you do if you do trigger something, you're less likely to take casualties from it. So, for example, if I had this jeep using slow time, and I walked into a, I drove into a level three minefield. If it triggered an attack, it would pretend that it is you're being attacked at a level two minefield. Or if you were drove into a level one minefield, it would you know there'd be a very negligible attack against you at that strength because you're doing it way more cautiously at the same time if you were double timing and you drove into that minefield or you walked into that you ran into that minefield you'd, you'd take casualties you take a lot of casualties it, it gives you a a way you know you're you're less cautious you're not you're not caring about what's going on you're just running down the road and all of a sudden boom all right you're no longer running because you're dead but slow time you're, it's way more cautious. You're being attacked at a much, much lower value. And you're, the issue with that in this case is because these areas are so big, you have to really decide when you're going to use slow time or not. Because do you have time to use slow time for all the trails and all the roads in here? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe... If you have an engineering tasks and you want to send a, a recon troop up down the road ahead of your engineers to see what's there, that might be a good time to use it. But for your infantry in the field, I don't know. It depends on how big the area that you're trying to clear is. The bigger the area, the harder it's going to be to successfully manage it if you're using slow time all the time. But on roads like QL13 here, that it's a perfect place to use it. Especially if you've, you know, we cleared this road on day two. It's now day five. I have no idea if there's any more mines on here now. You know, it's been a few days. The, the VC could have easily come in and laid more mines. So do I just run up and down the road like I normally do? Or do I go slow time? Just because I'm just, just being a little more cautious. Just remember these Arvin units. I hope that makes sense. I like the questions. That's awesome. Thank you. Once clicked, it can't be undone. No. It's, uh, once you're done, it's done. Once you're clicking it, it's done. There's no undo in real life. Because if there was, man, I'd be using it all, all the time. <laughs> Where's my undo button? Right. Yes. Right. <laughs> totally. Absolutely. I'm just seeing if I have any units here that are here. There's a fast way of doing this. I'm going to highlight loaded units. So that's loaded. Let's unload that. This is loaded. What's inside? Bridge engineers. Okay, we don't care about that. This is a task force headquarters. That's okay. 
I don't see any other vehicles loaded there, so we're okay. Oh, what's this? That's supply trucks. They're supposed to be loaded. Okay, let's uh, let's go down here. Make sure that we moved everything, which we have. All right, let's end the turn. Oh, that's not good news. Oh, that's really not good news. Five airstrikes remaining, four, five headquarters, unable to provide supply, four units low on ammo, and we did build some more improved positions, but we, uh, we ran into something. What did we run into? Okay, first things first, let's move this. Let's turn off the highlights. So this Arvin Cavalry Troop, we're going to park near and lock here for now. And we'll make some decisions about it during the night. But first, we need to go see what we saw in the field. This. So there is a VC company moving. Well, let's grab that point. Oh, of course, it's a roadblock. I was going to go back towards that landing zone, but I think I'm going to bail on that idea. I'm also going to assume that that is probably from here. So this company is moving north. Ah, okay. Here we can move this helicopter up here. Drop down. We have two turns left of daylight. We'll be able to get this helicopter this unit back. These two units have to run all the way back here, and they have to get within four hexes of this. One, two, three, four. So they have to get across this river. And, is there a way to cross the river? No, there's not. So, we have to act... <laughs> Man, really? <laughs> Crap! Ah, uh, yeah, they did come out of nowhere, Red Sox Cutie. They did. Oh. Now, you see, if I had... Oh, you know what? Build a light bridge. Ah! Ha ha! That's what we can do. Let's double time this guy. All the way down here. And let's build a light bridge across this, this river. And that, we can move our units towards that. And let's do that. Oh, score! Yay for using my brain. For once. Okay, we're landed, we can pick this guy up, and we can fly him back next turn. Down here, we're moving our troops towards this firebase. This guy, he can dig in around that tank. Ooh, that's not going that way. Let's just highlight this so I know which ones are which. So all these units 
are heading down this road. They will get there literally just in time. These ones, on the other hand, I don't think we're going to make it in time. Oh no, I forgot this one. too bad. I forgot this platoon down here, and that's still a, a handful of turns away. Crap. Boo! Boo on me! And there was another platoon that I have to grab uh, right here. These two I forgot to grab as well. At least this is a straight paved road. Let's see, how far are they? They're two turns away. Uh, uh, we might get lucky with those ones. This company, yeah, it's going to be close. This other company, it's also going to be close. We'll get there, but it'll be at the end of the day. Uh, let's move these units up to Minthan. So here we're going to have two... Two battalion headquarters with their heavy weapons companies as well as a cavalry troop and some engineers. This is actually going to be a pretty good base over here. There's also a battery of 105 here too. There's a few more vehicles down here to grab yet. Uh, these are going north. utilize some movement here. How many wrecks are there? Two. If I was smart, I would have brought one of those armored cavalry units down the uh, one of the wreckers to clear that wreck. But apparently not smart. Okay, and here, let's just double check everyone. Uh, I think these are good. It's just those helicopters that need to come over. And I think we can have enough to land both of them. Perfect. Can we unload this one? Yes. So there's just one more helicopter there. Load. Here we have helicopters that need to load. Uh, 
Uh, do I have enough helicopters to transport that last... No, I don't have enough strength points or fuel. This one's going to be driving in the night. That's not good. So we have one mortar that needs to fly over after these two helicopters do their trip over here. Let's just see how the highlighting is. That's good. Uh, yeah. So everyone is where they need to be. Let's just move that guy out there. We'll dig in there. We'll just dig in all this, and then we're good. We're just missing the mortars there, and that's done. Here, we're pretty much done. There's a few straggling vehicles left. That's good now. Uh, these Chinooks with dozers, they can go here. drop down. I can't unload them, but they will be there next turn. Let's, but let's going to try our luck and make some more uh, trenches. If we can do that, that'll finish that off. Heck yeah. Ah, now, if I recall correctly, there was something here. Let's move uh, a cordless rifle over here. Oh my god! Crap! Crap, crap, crap. I can't even see what... It, well, obviously it was an RPG, but... What the heck? Hey, Stipe, good to see ya. We are in the midst of having a pro bad day. need to move this headquarters out of the way. Let's move the US advisor and the heavy machine gun over here. These guys will continue digging in. We don't need the jeeps. We can move them out of the way. Uh, I guess I'm going to bring some infantry back. And this platoon So the VC, they came in, took this point back from us before we could get counted for this. Of course, we had just done that, and we were like two turns into our count. And they decided, nope, had enough of that. But even worse, this Arvin base is going to be attacked. So while we're thinking about it, let's get uh, let's get some guns in the air. Where are our gunships? Here are some gunships. Do we have any more gunships? We do? Oh, we don't. We have Chinooks. We have Loaches. Where the heck are our, all of our gunships? Uh, that's not good. That's not good. There's some here. Let's use these ones. And you know what? We have some hogs up here. Let's use let's use uh, a pair of hogs. Or one pink team with hogs. Don't get shot down. Don't get shot down. Don't get shot down. Yay! Okay. Now I'm curious to see what's going to happen in here. 
Uh, I just, I don't want to end the turn yet. I'm excited to end the turn, but I don't want to end the turn yet. I don't want to forget anything. Because we only have a couple more turns of daylight. Let's get this infantry company at this intersection. We'll uh, group our our troops here. Holy crap, that's so slow. Get our engineers running down this road. Get our supply trucks. Trying to race back. They're never going to make Oh my goodness. You know how long it's going to take for them to get back? They're not going to make it. Absolutely not. Uh, infantry. These guys will make it though. Yeah, they're, they're really close. Uh, here we have some spare helicopters. These guys are all digging in. I don't know why there's a delay right now. Let's just highlight everyone, make sure that everyone's right. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so this this is good. We're happy with that. This construction platoon is digging in some more trenches. Let's undo that. Let's go down here, make sure that I did everything. Oh, let's take a look at this guy. Oh, he's good. Let's uh, lay some claymores. Nope. Oh, and the bridge. I want to see again if we're going to get lucky with this bridge. Um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So we can do that. Thanks for tuning in, Red Sox Cutie. Glad you uh, enjoyed the session. I really appreciate you taking the time to visit. Really appreciate that. Hope you have a good sleep. I'm back again on Sunday for board. Positive vibes. All right. Let's, uh, let's end the turn. And see what those VC are going to do. I wonder if they're just positioning and getting ready for an attack when it's dark. Nope. They're getting in there. Oh, crap. Excellent. You built enough in area New York. Oh, we didn't even need to bring those uh, dozers. So we gained 500 points. That's good. Five airstrikes remaining. One unit has not recovered. Four headquarters. Unable to supply. Four units low on ammo. And we built a whole bunch of stuff. Hopefully this mortar is a four point. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! They ran away. Perfect. Okay, now on that note, I think we're going to call her there and save the action for next time because we're over two hours already. It's saved, and we're excited to see what's going to happen during the night. We should be able to blow through the night next session on Sunday uh, and then see what happens for day six. Depends how much activity is going to be going on, but this is not a good sign if we're being attacked already. And we did run into, uh, where was it? Down here. We ran into a VC company somewhere down here. I don't even remember where it was. Down here. They were on this path over here. I don't know where they're going, but they were in here somewhere. So something to think about and something to look forward to. I'm curious to see what the VC are going to do for day five night. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Glad you took the time out of your day to uh, to participate. 
questions were fantastic. I really appreciate that. I hope you uh, have a fantastic week. Thank you again for tuning in. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're enjoying the content, give it a like, subscribe. It really helps. Really helps. Thank you. I'll be back on Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific. And on that note, take care, smile always, and talk to you soon.